Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Nick Terrio here and today I'm bringing you a new video on how to set up server-side tracking inside of Shopify with Facebook ads. So under this new update, we strongly suggest to set up server-side tracking as it's a lot more accurate in, in tracking your purchases and conversions and stuff inside of Ads Manager. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set that up in Shopify. It's very simple. So before we get started, make sure you hit that like button and hit that subscribe button for new videos every other day surrounding Shopify, Facebook ads, marketing, and all the great advertising spaces right now, helping the e-com business owner expand and grow their business. Okay guys, so we're inside of Shopify and when you're inside the Shopify right here, you simply just want to go to like the little app store thing um, and you want to find this app right here called Facebook channel and add it, install it to your Shopify and then it's going to run you through some settings essentially to kind of like get a few things set up and once you do, it's like I said, very straightforward and what happens is you're gonna connect your account, you're gonna log into your like Facebook account, you're gonna log into your business account, and then you're gonna log into like select that ad account you want to associate with your Shopify. Then under settings, this is really important. Um, you wanna go right here to data sharing settings, and then enable customer data sharing, and then you wanna do maximum. And basically, this is allows the server side integration where it says, hey, Maximum combines all data sharing options to reach the highest amount of customers. It uses conversions API, which shares directly from Shopify servers to Facebook. This means data cannot be blocked by ad blockers. So Safari, Google Chrome, a lot of these browsers are starting to have in embed it ad blockers inside of their browser to where it automatically blocks ads and it really hurts um, conversions and stuff like that. So this is a really big one right here. So very simple. So if we go inside the ads manager and we actually look at the events manager, we can see for ourselves the connection method right here and it says server for purchase. Now, I do believe that purchases is the only thing it pushes through, whereas a few of the other things, page view, view content, add to cart, initiate checkout, all of this stuff is just the browser based because the purchase right here, the server, it keeps its information based off like IP addresses and stuff like that and then sends it over to Facebook to create that um, match. So, it's a great way to basically associate the server um, with Facebook and allow you to get more purchases that are attributed to your Facebook ad campaigns, which more purchases attributed, more data Facebook has of who's buying and better results for you and your business. So hope this video was helpful for you guys. Make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button for more videos every other day surrounding Facebook ads, Shopify, and just marketing overall in terms of like digital marketing. So. If you're an e-com business owner and you're doing over 10K a month and would like to hop on a call with me to see how we can help you and your business grow and expand with Facebook ads, we've taken multiple businesses now to over multiple six figures a month and would love to help you out. So please click the link below to book a call with us. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Nick Terrio and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.